Yep, I was done. That's good. Let me turn up the game volume here. Okay, that's speaking a little hard. Yeah, the game isn't well balanced. The music is pretty low compared to the sound effects. But that's fine, we will manage. We'll do the best we can. So, Tom Dow Joe stage one. Let's credit feed now for the beginning. Let's do a credit fee stream. Okay, whack, whack, whack. That clears the top. Okay, though. What else can we do? We can set those up and those up, and that should be close to perfect. Unfortunately, it isn't, but we can do whack, whack, and whack. Now we get the cats, and then we'll have to do one more miss here. But that's fine. No, actually, two more misses. Yeah. Seems I'm a little rusty from not having played this game for a couple of days, but that's fine. We'll get the hang of it. The graph battle isn't hard anyway. So why credit feed for the first two tries? Well, I want to see how the game progresses when it gets to a higher difficulty. Uh, also, I want to see how many levels there are. Okay, it's, this is a four wide, so we can get the cats ready, just like this. It'll stop the monster from climbing for a second. It'll give us a little time, I think. Okay, we can do the greens, and whatever. Get the girls going. Uh, it's safer to hit from the top starting. Oh, sorry, from the top moving down. Get the blues ready, they should be easy to work with. And then you guys. And blues are good to go. And then get this to be ready. And make the uh, green. Make the, Get the green closer to our elimination. Okay, green is one step away, and the next we wanna do is we can do this to get the red and the green. Ooh, I hit that. No, not a problem. Let's fix that. Made up a little imp mistake there. Let's clean it up. Right quick. See, not a problem. Back here a few times and we are done with the stage. There we go. See. A little mistake that didn't hurt us at all, so we are all good. Let's watch the gift cutscene. We haven't watched this for a while. Yep, that's good. Let's carry on. Uh, what I would like to do, a goal, if you will. My goal is to get to the stage 10 without a continue. Might not be done on this prime, but that's what we are going for. That's what we are aiming for. You can do the cat. Yep. The cat. And the purples are ready to go, so whack the purples. And now we can get the uh, Daruma heads. I think it's called a Daruma head. We can do that. It won't help us at all. Could have done it at the bottom as well. We came up regardless. Uh, nothing's ready to go, so let's fix that, work on that. Now we are on a path to a good clear here. Okay, so we can set up the yellows for elimination. Cut the yellows. You can get the bears, you can get the bears next. So bears. Uh, we can do that that and that that'll give, us, that'll give us the bears and the blues yeah that uh, gray animal there that's a bear uh you wouldn't know it but it's featured in a cutscene later on so we'll we'll get to find out that it's a bear okay first ogre stage done stage four ogre fast ogre strong ogre so what do we have here greens are almost ready to go So if we do that, the greens are now ready. After the greens, the uh, cat would be ready. But we won't be able to get it immediately. Let's work on the greens, get the cat next. The lucky cat, the money cat. Actually, blue is super much easier. Let's do the blue while we are here. And while we do the blue, we can get the cat into position almost. 
that's a danger sign, but not a problem. We do have an elimination queued up, so nothing too worrisome. And now we have this cat ready, and we have the browns ready in a moment. Yep, browns are ready, cat is ready. There we go. Cleaning stuff out as we go, and stopping the monster from farming. Whenever I whack these blocks and I do an elimination, well, the monster stops climbing, it gets hit with an attack of sorts. That wasn't a high IQ play there. But it's okay, we have so few blocks left anyway. Anything ready to go? Yeah, the letter blocks are. Anything ready to go? No, monster fish is not ready to go yet, but we can set it up. There we go, monster fish is ready. Bye bye, monster fish. Yeah, that's a funny sprite when you uh, hit the monster fishes and it opens its mouth and climbs there. The attack or flies up to attack, it's a funny looking sprite. And here we see the bear animation, let's check it out. Yep, the fishing bears, I suppose. Okay, more action. Fish stage 1, the fish are terrifying, they are really really fast. And the board is in a bad state, make no mistake. We can do the cats in two steps like this. And now we can start dropping stuff. So the cats are now done. After the cats we'll need to get another elimination and we can do this two stages from the heads. Uh, what else can we eliminate? We can definitely drop these. Oh, prep the... Uh, Prep the greens, I suppose. Made a mistake there. No? Bad mistake. Okay, I will need to be mindful of the fish monster. Yeah, this won't work. I mean, I'm getting my first. Oh, I didn't even get a stun there. What a bad play. Yeah, that's gonna be a continue. Man, did I miscalculate that one. I mean, it's like to me, I took a calculated, calculated risk, but man, am I bad at math. Yeah, feels like that. Look at the fish go. I mean, the fi fish does go. If you don't do eliminations and you don't do them consistently, the fish is just gonna do that. Man, what a bad play. Um, but like I said, we are gonna credit feed. So, yeah. Insert a few credits and let's go. Let's see where we can get to with these guys. That felt bad. Now, for the second try, I suppose the game is gonna be easy. So even if we took an... Even if we took an L there, doesn't really matter. Because we wanna learn the game. And doing 1cc runs on arcade games, you have to have quite a bit of practice to be able to do that. So I'll try not to be too hard on myself for not getting it. Get the purple still ready to go. Get the reds to first position. Purples are now gonna be eliminated. That's gonna help the rest of the board figure itself out. So I have greens almost ready to go. That's gonna clear the reds. Not gonna clear the greens though. Now we're gonna do this. I'll whack the piggies and the cats are the last to go. We made a mistake there. Should have hit the cat. I uh, should, should have hit the other block. I don't know what I'm saying. But luckily the letters lined up regardless. So we are done with the fish stage in just a second here. We can do a whack, a whack, a whack, and a double these piggy whacks and we are done. So I hope you see the logic in the game and the moves. If you've got questions about the game or how it works or the logic of how to do these eliminations, I'll be happy to explain them to you. Just go ahead and post a question in the chat. Otherwise, let's keep working these monsters. Okay, these girls are gonna take too many wax. And blues are already spent. Oh no. Okay, I wasn't thinking that. Just started whacking. Yeah. No. Oh, it moved. 
That's bad. That's so bad. Yeah, I could have done this from the start. And had I done that from the start, we would be in a good position, but we are not. We are in a terrible position because of my bad planning skills. So I'm gonna have to take two wax here, otherwise I'm gonna die. Then I can take take three wax on the girls and stop the fish from climbing for just a second. Stop climbing fish. And then see what we have. And we've got a secondary color here. Good. Uh, nothing is ready to go. Yellows can be made ready. Not if I do that. Absolutely not if I do that. How's that for bad play? Yeah, I know. It's rubbish, isn't it? Now I have to take so many wax to get this figured out. Okay, yellows are good to go. See if we can stop the fish from killing us. Okay, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five wax, and the cats are good to go. And now the blues. Yeah, the blue attack is gonna stun the fish for the hot minute we need to be able to clear the stage. Barely, just barely scraped by. Yeah, 1300 points for score. Not great. Not good. Okay, five wide stage. Uh, thinking the uh, monster fish is, looks easy. It's gonna take two turns to set it up. One, two, three, four, and clear the warning. And now start eliminating. And now we need to be eliminating or cleaning up every step of the way here. So we can do like one, two, three, four, five, and get the cats. That was a good play, I feel. Nothing's ready to go. These would be the next to go. The pink is good to go in, in, in on this move. Here we go. I'm looking for the next color. It's the heads. Easily the heads. We are not in a danger of being eliminated, that's for sure. Greens are already on that step. And then we're gonna work on the blue. Blue is gonna take a few wax to get to. Letters are done by just working at the bottom. Doing a clear here. Letters are gonna be okay. Gonna help with the blue as well. But the Tanuki found it like that, so let's do the blue next. And now set up the uh, Tanuki. Tanuki is done, and we will get the W here. Work, 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 piggies last. There we go. Man, those fishes are kinda scary. Third card scene. Yep, yeah, it's a beam big. Okay, ninjas, six wide. Fishes look okay. Double up like that. I'm working on the heads next. Okay, let's get the fish. Okay, and now let's clear here. where we can just stay at the bottom and keep working. We don't have to travel up and down for our elimination. And we're gonna need a clear here, otherwise we're gonna die. 
and we can whack these girls in position with just a few whacks. It's not gonna be this turn, it's gonna be next turn. There we go. Wish the reds were in a better spot, let's whack them to make sure, sure they are. Yeah, no hurry. I am hurrying. We can get the greens on the turn after next. Get the blues now. We can drop them just by doing this, so no flying time lost. Greens aren't ready to go. We can do this to make sure the greens are eliminated. As well, ninjas are not fast enough, not with one credit behind us. We have one continue, and I think the one continue is going to slow the speed of the climbers a little bit. Because we are having a great, we are making great progress with just one credit. And I mean, I've been struggling to get to stage 8 without a continue, so... I think the rate is slowed by taking a continue, that's for sure. No, well, not for sure, but I, I'm thinking that it is. And that'll be par for the course for many of these battle games. Um, bears are looking sweet, so... Let's do the bears. It's gonna take a few wax to get the bears done though. Yeah, that's gonna be all the bears road. It's a wide road with a lot of junk on it. It's a hard pattern. Uh, what can we do here? Not much. Uh, cats would be a poor option. Come on, I uh, think greens after this are okay but we need to work twice up here to get to those greens and the reds can be made ready work our way down the power smacking while we go and now get the next easy color, that's the cats. Hope I didn't leave a huge mess behind me, I don't think I did. Yeah, the purples are ready, one go. Then whack these into shape. Tanuki bear should be close to getting ready, or the heads are getting close to being ready. Yeah, the heads would be next, wouldn't they? Okay. Uh, start working on the heads. Good. Whack, whack, whack. Uh, we have nothing, so it's gonna be the uh, letter blocks next. That's letter block blocks done, and that'll give Tanuki okay, Bears automatic. Tanuki's last. There we go, stage 10. One continue behind us. It's a bit of a let's play, isn't it? If we do clear the game, I think I'll just post it on YouTube as a let's play. Let's play the armor dojo. Oh, it's a 6 wide, isn't it? Lucky we get a single color. I did read the yellows as taking two sets of wax to clear. But now I'm gonna need four wax here at the top just to clear the board, or maybe three. And now the rest of the moves are gonna be for clearing stuff out. See, this is hard. So I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, uh, I can do this. No, I can't. I mean, I miscalculated. I thought I had enough punches to clear. Clear the uh, upper row with the tanuki, dropping something. Um, yeah, I shouldn't just say I can do this and then take an immediate loss. It's bad form. Second continue. Stage 10. Hard stage. Really wide. Uh, the fish are okay, the tanuki are super not okay. Bears are looking sweet though. No, I don't, I don't get to do that. Man, that feels so rubbish. 
I mean, I get to hit. Not gonna work, is it? I mean, getting these bears into position is gonna be hard if I keep making mistakes like that. One, two, three. Okay, now we have two sets of empty moves. No, putting the bear there. Oh my god. No, uh, the idea here is not to hit the symbol you wanna eliminate next. Because once you hit something, it's gonna go to the back of the queue. So. I made a mistake there, and after that there was nothing to be done. On this wide stage, you have to be working towards elimination. If you do a move where you kinda just shuffle the board around, well, you're gonna have a bad time like we saw here. So let's try again, and let's not shuffle the board. Let's work towards having a color on the left side. Now the most fish can be done, but the blues are easier. They take fewer wax to get to the absolute left. Oh, and I did that. No, I didn't I? Now the blues are ready in a few steps. If I do this, they'll all be at the bottom and to the left. So I can stay at the bottom of Wacken. And that's gonna clear the board out somewhat. Now we need to clear here at the top. And let's see. Red looks like a uh, potential color here. Gonna take a few wax, wax to get it shaped out. All the while I have to keep clearing this danger here. So two steps here and the reds are now finally done. Drop you and uh, whack here. Okay, do the reds now. Whenever you do an elimination on a whack, it's not gonna increase the board. It's not gonna give you more symbols, right? So you don't have to do these saving grace moves like I'm doing here, whenever, after you've done elimination. So smacking the uh, yellows seems to be the play here. And after that work on the bears. One of the bears is in a bad position, but the yellows are gonna give me plenty of space to work with. So I can do four moves here on the bears, get them ready for elimination, put that fish away, put that away. And smack, smack to my heart, heart's content here. Monster fish are looking good here. Yeah, we can drop these away. Yeah, danger. Monster fish are going to help them, and maybe the girls after. The girls are gonna need two extra step, or one extra step. Then one piece you're next. Oh, you, you know you're not. One of you is not in position. But you will be after I hit the girls, so Tanuki is next. Good. So that's the proper way to do it. And now, if you want to have the heads, we hit the heads last. If, if you don't want to eliminate this turn, you want to eliminate next turn, then hit the one you want to eliminate last. And that way, you'll make sure that you are in a position to eliminate on the next next turn. So there we go, that's the strat. That's so far the only big brain strat that I found for the game. Doing it doing it uh, for two steps in advance is hard. 10 wins, okay. We did a painting here, and we are ready to proceed to stage 11. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, that's a wide stage. It's not super tall though. Mm, pink is looking like a color we can eliminate. How many extra steps we have left? Two. Oh, there's one pink at the far right. That's gonna be a super hard color to eliminate. What is this rubbish? It's so hard to get rid of. I mean, look at that. I have to uh, do a proper set of... I mean, I can do this and this. And now it's gonna be four steps. And I can drop that and that and these, and get the pinks done. At least I can stay here at the very bottom and whack away. Now the heads are looking like a potential candidate for elimination, but there's two with a gap. Okay, I need to save my bacon here. And now get the... Oh, but the heads won't be ready to eliminate next, will they? Let's see. They won't be ready. So, we need to prep. Uh, we can do two clears here at the top. And drop ahead. 
Another hit should be okay. Again, making sure that we don't have to climb up and down the tower all the bloody time. Picks are almost done. How many swags is that? Seven. So that, 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 this, and here. And the picks are going to help. They're going to create a danger for this turn. Blues are looking super easy. No, but the blues have a uh, gap in them. See the gap in the blues? Yeah, I did that to myself. I and nobody else. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. We are dead. Dead in the water. We cannot get the greens, the monster. I mean, if we could get it, the monster is gonna be up there. Yeah, uh, making mistakes there. I did leave a gap. And once you leave a gap, you're making a mess of the situation. It's gonna take two extra moves, two extra misses to clean the board. So we get to look at this graphic again. Pink is hard, pigs are. Uh, the fish are the best. There's a single gap in them that we cleared like this. work our way down the tower, down the tower, and dropping those down. Now we get to be down here. Thinking 7 wide isn't much harder than thinking 6 wide. You just have to count one more move into your pattern of drops. But it's gonna take a significantly longer time. All the things are gonna take more time. And you have to watch out for gaps in places that you didn't think of looking at for gaps. No, that's not gonna clear the blues, is it? Yeah, you can be honest with me. It's not. It's not gonna work. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of the blues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Finally, we got a clear. Okay, letters are gonna be super easy and they're gonna help me clear stuff out. Yeah, I know, I know, the monster is fine. There's a gap in the greens, so we're not gonna worry about those. There's a gap in these as well. We have gaps all around the damn place. Working. Well, is, th is this gonna leave the green ready? It's not. It's not gonna even be a next step. That is gonna, however, be the board. So, quick working and we're done. Time to keep myself hydrated. Was doing a bit of snow shoveling today or snow pushing today. It's sled to snow heavily do, towards the weekend here in Finland. So I was doing a little bit of a snow work today. Took me like, well, it took only 40 minutes to clear the snow today. But that's only in preparation for the next snowball basically. No, I did a mistake. Uh, did you see me do that? I mean, I sure as hell did. Man. That's a wide, wide board. And I mean, I have to keep climbing up here to make sure I have space not to die. And that is rough. Now we get up here. 
So what's another color? Cats are looking gapless, so gaps, cats should be it. It's gonna take me a long time to get the cats. No, but I'm gonna die of the blocks if I don't do this. Yeah, that way still moves. And I'm getting the cats into shape. I'm smacking them into shape. But it's taking me a while. Now the cats are dead. Yeah, we are in a bad state, I know. Heads are almost done, so let's work on the heads. Let's clear from the top as well. And now do the heads. The bears have a single gap in them, so they're not looking like a good candidate. The greens are gapless. So the greens should be the next to go. That's one, two, three, and four. And we can stay down here to smack the greens. What am I doing? Oh, I have no bloody idea. Yeah, that didn't clear anything out. Um, but we can get the pink ready. If nothing else. So we can smack these into shape again. That's gonna give me a faster move, but I still need to travel up here. And now I have to smack the bears into shape. At least we get the W here on this 8 wide. I was cutting it close. Smack, 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 done. Yeah, okay. And that's not an 8 wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Man, am I bad at math? I am. Small numbers. Next level, stage 13, 7 wide. 7 wide. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is the call gonna be? Not the fish. The head is gonna be the call. It's gonna take a significant amount of time to do the heads though. I mean, now it's somewhat gapless. It is gapless. But how do I clear the top of the board without messing up with the heads. Can I even work this? I cannot. Look at that. How is that supposed to be done? Yeah, I'm happy I've got a lot of credits to play. I mean, I've got a, quite a few quarters here. How are you supposed to do this? You're supposed to work from the top up, right? So looking at the top, purple is a two cap color. Red is a single gap color. So if we start working on the reds up here, we can, you know, that's also a red. We're gonna need two red moves here, one here and one there to clear the red gaps. And then we're gonna need to do three moves here. And now we get to have four moves here, but look at that, look at that. Can you see this? It's six moves. One, oh yeah. Yeah, maybe this works. And drop these two last. No, I miscalculated. Did I say something about being bad at math? It would have worked if I had calculated correctly. Ooh, the kite stage is hard. Yeah, the ogre is back and it's difficult. Uh, a few more colors. Are we gonna even win at this game? Hmm. Let's try again. Let's go for the El Cato here. No, I just... Okay. That's gonna help. But we are in so much trouble here. I have to drop the cat into an unopportune place. I have one more left. Uh-huh. Yeah, but the cats are the cats are just gonna suck. Hmm. So what's the most opportune strat here? I mean surely. The blues are in the best position. Look at this. That's gonna be six moves, ten and eleven moves to get the blue into shape. It's gonna take ten moves here and another ten, eleven moves here, twenty-one moves, and the fish are gonna take a huge amount of moves because we have to clear the gap here. Even if we put that to the far right, yeah, I think that's the way we're supposed to play. If we put the stuff on the far right that's already on the far right. So for example, there's a Tanuki bear at the very far right. So it doesn't matter if I put it to the right of me. And kind of just work the shapes 
in sequence. Like that. And I know I'm not gonna play it now, but if you continue with that logic, then if I make a few moves on the cats here, look at this. I mean, if I drop that to place, it's it's better. Now the cats would have been done the move after the next. But you get to make zero mistakes on this whiteboard. Okay, let's have a proper go. Red's gonna take a while, heads are gonna be okay. Uh, one of the heads is on the far right though, so we can drop these heads to the far right and be content in the fact that if we clear gaps in the shapes, we are in good position. So if I'm dropping these in sequence like that, I'm making sure that nothing untoward happens. Okay, and now I have to spend four moves here out of my seven. And I can only get one, two, three moves in here. I'm now getting these cats smacked into shape. It's not gonna leave me time to work the board. See that? I'm always forced to defend myself at the top whenever I have a miss. Even a single miss is a terrible thing to have here. And I'm, I'm slowly getting these cats into shape, but all the while I'm being forced to fly up here. And I mean, to do this, you probably have to read the board far in advance. But I'm working on a single color skill here. So the cats are now done. And the reds are looking positively possible. But so are the heads. And I do four defensive moves here, and I've got three moves left to do, to do work with. So if I start at Tanuki Bear here. Oh yeah, I made missed the block there. Mm-hmm. No, I was deep in thought. Trying to find a way to do it. Uh, I mean, even if the uh, time pressure was not there, and I know it is, but even if the time pressure wasn't there, I'd have a problem with this stage. So what's on the right? Purple is on the right, and we can do nothing about it. So is the head, and a lot of the Tanukis are on the right. Yeah, and now I defended myself, and I know these colors looking good to you, because they aren't looking very good to me. The fishes are on the right. No, I mean, what we can do is we can look for the color that's mostly on the left. But even doing defensive moves like this, it's gonna take a lot of defending to get the extra moves that I require. No, but this defense is not gonna work, it's just gonna leave stuff up there. I wanted to keep putting the blue into the correct position. But if I do that, I'm still struggling here. So what is the strat to play here? Okay. Let's look at the board here. Let's think this out. So, blues, yeah, all's good except here's one on the right here. So getting that is gonna be six moves and then I mean, if I drop you immediately, you're gonna be on the right, and you're gonna need another seven moves to be on the left. And there's nothing I can do about that. Had I done it next to the last, it would have given me less moves. Oh yeah, so, if I want to have a shape on the left, I should maybe not touch it last, but next to last. So check this out. I touch the heads, and now the heads are in a reasonable shape. I do a single defense here. And if I touch the head first, it's gonna be on the far right, and I'm gonna be in trouble. So much trouble, look at that. So now the head's already in an unworkable position. So no go there. If I wanna do the yellows, this is the way to do it, right? Get them to be on the left. Hey, Mayonchen, welcome to the chat. Struggling here with the game a little bit. Not sure if I can pass this level actually. It's a um, it's a pretty hard pretty hard level. So let's think this through. Keep thinking. What's on the left? Heads are gonna be this one head here on the very right. The Tanuki is almost all to the very right. The reds pretty much the same situation. 
So what symbol has the least work? Purples are here. What isn't here? The letters aren't here on the far left. Far right. It's going good, but I'm struggling. So look at this. Maybe the fishes are the correct play. And now I can... Now the fishes... Oh, there were two fishes here. Man. Am I bad at math or what? Didn't see the fish. And now... If, uh, no, I mean, these moves are forced. And now I've got another three moves to clear the blocks away with. And even if I put this fish into shape here, I smack him to the edge. I have to defend here, and that's gonna be another four moves, leaving me only three moves to play with. And look at that. Look at how many turns it's taking me to clear the fish, and if I touch them again, well, they are gonna be gone. And another forced defense. But that actually gives me... Oh, because that's gonna take less wax. Okay. So I can make a row like that. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be that I eliminate them on the next move. I can set up a row of those blocks to the bottom. Okay, that's a new thing I figured out. So if I can hit colors in succession, for example, Tanuki bears here, that's gonna be okay. And now, if I can hit another color in succession, I'm gonna have an easier time later in the game. Look at that, now the Tanukis and yellows are already behaving. Do the defense, and now I touch the yellow, so if I do another three-piece yellows here, I'm making progress. Okay, good. And that's gonna be a 4 move mandatory defense here, but I could have straightened them out by doing colors properly. So see that? If I do these heads now... 3 in a row. Good. And then I start working on my blues, and if I have to drop a blue, I'll be sure to drop 2 blues. So they behave. And now that's gonna be a defensive move here for the, with the cats. And now I can continue my workload with the blue blocks. And now the blue blocks are gonna be in shape. The turn after this, the blues are now done. And I can smack him if I wanna. And that maybe is the way to do it. So I have to consider that whenever I drop blocks, uh, I do it uh, one color at a time. So let's try that. Let's see what colors we can drop at the left here. Uh, we can work on the blues. We can do three blues to get them to the far right. And now we can get three yellows to be on the far left. We have to do defense here, but we can do an extra purple here and keep working on those yellows. Uh, but that's a four move defense that I have to do. And now, according to my strat, I should work on the reds. And now the reds are in an okay shape. And even if I have to do a defense here, the reds are already in a fine position. They are all good. Smack them into place here. Put that into the left here. See, the reds are behaving. Might not get a clear this turn, but I'm getting a clear now. First clear on this turn. Uh -huh. Whiffed. Okay. And now getting the yellows into shape is easy. Oh, but I have to do two wax here. But that's fine, look at that. Waste these moves. Drop locks down. I work on the yellows. Yellows are done. Okay, according to the same basic strats. Defend. Get the purples into shape. See? Purples are almost okay. And if I have to save two wax to save my bacon here, yeah, I can do it on the purples. There we go, purples are done. Blues are with a gap, but so are the fishes, and the heads are without a gap, so let's work on the head, but we need to do a defense here. 
I work on the heads. Oh, the heads are not gapless. We can drop two heads and save our bacon again. No. Save. And drop heads. See? Heads are okay. And if I want to do blues at some point in the future, I must do them in a row, like that. And now heads are done. And this is gonna help the blue move all the way to the left while I'm making other progress. So this is a uh, strat we can work with. Danuki pairs are there, that's fine, they are not in a perfect position, but they don't have to be. Because it's only gonna take me two wax to get that row to the far left. See this? It's viable. And now I can just stand here and slam the Tanukis. And now the fishes are two wax away. Yeah, so we clear the fish in a row. That's gonna give their other colors time to shift into shape. The cats are not ready, but they don't have to be. We can work them next. Now the cats are done, and maybe we gotta clear here. We did, we did. Whew. Okay, that works. Not that I want to credit, uh, because the monster is now slower than when I insert coins into the game, but we made progress. Stage 14. Uh, crap, I'll repeat. So, start working on a uh, color. It's not gonna be that, it's gonna be the head. Heads are done. They're, they're in a row. And then bears next. Even if it's gonna take a little bit of whacking to get the bears into shape, they are a more potential color here than any other. See that three green, three blues in a row is gonna be hugely beneficial late in the game. Cut the bears. What's the next color? Nothing super easy. So start working on the head. That's gonna take a while, but it's not terrible. I will have to defend. Once. And then just touch the heads until we're done. Have to go up here to smack. Yeah. Got it. Now the blues. Smack them to save our bacon. Blues already on the next elimination. Shape the cats while we are at it, boy, won't we? And now I have to fly up there. That's gonna take too long, but. Oh, no, 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 I touched the wrong color. I left a gap there. That's so, so frustrating. And look at that. It's all the effort is wasted. All the effort is wasted. And now when the cats are there. Uh, when I make a mistake, I, I kind of give up and make more mistakes. And that's not the way to win at these games. That's for sure. So uh, instead of doing what I do, do what I say. That's going to be better for you long term. Oh, my God. I mean, I did get the cats finally, but the crap got way up, but they way the hell up there. With my mistakes and all. What's and all. Yeah, if we didn't have the pressure of the uh, crab monster, then we would be good. But we have the pressure of the... There's a, there's a block limit, and then there's the time limit with the climbing monster, so... Ooh. And the blues are not ready. Uh, 
and uh, then it's gonna be another waste down here. See that? It's gonna be another waste. Yeah, almost had it. Almost had it. Need to move this just a little, sir. How's that? Much better. I can sit up straight. Okay, let's speed. Let's speed. Let's see how many stages there. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, fifteen, twenty. Mm -hmm. Blues are not great, but let's drop a few heads. Put them to the far right. Should have touched this first. It's okay. Drop a few blues. Now drop a few pinks. See that? Everything is much better. Uh, touch the bear. Why did I touch a bear? Save my bacon, so we leave a mess there. And now we can hit a few cats here. And hit a few yellows into shape. Bears are almost there, but we want to do something else instead. Let's drop you. And yeah, you have a gap though. Drop some heads. Drop some cats. Drop some blues. And we are in an okay position uh, at the moment. See this? Almost had it. We have it next time. And see how nicely everything is now to the right there. No, I made a mistake. Should have moved up. I didn't move up enough. Uh, let's waste this. Uh, try again. Make a mulligan. It's not called a mulligan, is it? I don't know my golf terminology. The only thing I know about golf is what I learned from Neo Turf Masters and it doesn't have a mulligan. Is that when you chip it in close? No, it's not called a chip either. You, you do a super close spot and then you uh, just get to push the ball in. Is that it? Okay, if I drop you and maybe make this, um, and now you, you, four, you three. Now I can do the bears here at my leisure. And the heads are better. Okay, now the bears are almost ready to go. Yeah, what I should do is when I'm making these moves that clear the board, I shouldn't leave unnecessary gaps for my future self. That's the play here. And keeping that in mind, we are whacking stuff in order, and that's gonna leave us with a clear board. Already got an elimination. Super good, but it's better. Okay, got got an elimination done. I did I did I get an elimination? I did not see that. I got like a two stage elimination done. Do I now have an elimination? Yes, I do. Yeah, I know. Crab is hurrying me up. Please don't pressure me. I I'm under quite a bit of stress already here. Okay. Now the blues are definitely workable. See that? That's a viable strat. That's not great though, leaving that block way the hell down there. Well, at least we get the blues. And that whacking is gonna actually clear our yellow problem quite well. Okay, clean the board out just a little.
Yeah. Keep playing it as it stands. And then the letters require work, but not that much work. And now the heads are already in a neat row. And all I need to do is touch the head and then do the kittens in order and we've got a two-stage elimination going. Standing. Uh, no, we don't. We do not. Absolutely do not. Why did I do that? I lost the game with that miscalc. What did I even calc wrong? See that? That's the move. Not to do. What? Oh no. Ah, I almost had it. Let's go again. Let's go again. Uh, at the moment we are not playing for time here, we are playing this is a proper puzzle game just to see if we can clear the board. Okay, mm, shape you out. Get those to the right and then start working the... Uh, that's gonna be rubbish and then start working on the bears. Good. The bears are in a better position. Then clear you out and start working the blues into shape. Hit these in order. And now the extra effort I can do on that. And now the bears are almost done. And we might have to do... No, we don't. Bears are done. And that's gonna leave us in a better shape at the very top. So that's value. Bear value. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what's next? The cats might be okay. I mean, we can drop these cats for a while here before we are in trouble. And now we can just smack that into shape. It's gonna take a few turns. Cats to the right. Uh, save. Blue. Letters next. That clears a gap from the letters, right? Heads are not ready to go yet, but we can do a few smacks here. Uh, quite a few sm smacks there. Do two cleans and then set up the yeah, pink. Got the pink. Now all I need to do is learn to do these moves fast enough not to die on the... Uh, not to die on the execution. What now? I don't see a faster move here. All I see is these letters. Get the letter clear here. Done. Yeah, this must be confusing for people coming into the stream and just um, checking out the game and going like, what is this madness and then dropping out. I mean, I get it. If this is not exactly your kind of a game, uh, I don't fault you. But if you want to learn the mechanics, uh, just ask me a question. I'll be happy to explain it to you. Ooh, we are doing poorly here. Now we can just smack these until the cows come home. See that? Those are now done, but it would take an inordinate amount of time. Oh my god. And the crab is speeding. I mean, the crab is not the fastest enemy in the game, that's for sure. And even the crab monster is speeding me. Even with this many continues, the game is still too fast for me. Yeah, the crab was faster. It, I mean, it's not... It's not far off. A little more, a little more. Push, keep pushing. Let's play, it's a let's play, not one CC run. Okay, there. Oh, I can do three hits on the cats. Uh, three, hits on, three hits on the yellows. Then two hits on the purple. That's for already more shapely. Then I can do a couple of yellows. A couple pink hits. That they are now capless, and then do heads for the rest of the turn. Heads are not capless yet. 
Wanna drop some bears? Yes, I do. Wanna drop some heads? I don't have them. I can do blues. Followed up by a couple heads. Good. Followed up by what? Uh, nothing's clear, so let's make a bit of a mess and do a bear. Okay. Head's gonna be now worked into shape. So let's... And clear the heads. Uh, shape these pinks. They are almost ready to go. There we go. Cats are gonna be on the far right, they don't belong on the left yet. Then we can drop the bears. And drop a blue there, that's fine. Because now we can work the letters into shape. Drop the letter there, that's bad. Now I have to drop the rest of the letters as well. It's not the end of the run though, or end of the credit here. Okay, now yellows. Yellows have to go. And now we should have letters. We do. Yellows are a whack away. Um, what do we have for yellows? We've got quite a few yellows, so we can smack them into shape. All of the yellows. There we go. We get a nice fast elimination here. That'll make the bears reasonable. It's gonna be two wax. It's gonna be more wax on the bears than two, that's for sure. See, now the bears are done. Yeah, economy of movement is a thing in this game. You don't wanna make huge movesets to do simple eliminations, that's for sure. Almost, almost, almost. Please don't do it, please don't cut the rope. I have it, don't cut it. Grab, I ask you, please. Please grab, no. No, grab, no. Got it! Oh, got it! Man, that's the first enemy of the game. 700 points left. Yeah, it's counting down to zero points. More crab battles. Okay. Smack some girls to make some space at the top. Smack some letters to clear some gaps away. Smack some browns just for the heck of it. And now do the heads to make some space. Now do the pigs to clear a gap. Fly back up here and now we have two moves left. I can just do a brown. And now the browns are gapless. And do those colors in order. That's gonna help. Look at that. That's, that's good. And now we have an elimination. Good, now what's next? Uh, we need to clear stuff here. We can do this. Good. And do a pink, pink girl. No, I have to touch this. Mm, it's taking a long while to set up these moves. I mean, the girls would be ready to go with just this. Me playing down here is okay. I just need to save. Oh, but that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Look at that. It's gonna be a problem. No. Okay, 8 wide. 8 wide with a lot of blocks on the board is hard. 
But the difficulty grows very gradually. It's not getting significantly hard level by level. It's just variations on a theme or just a little bit extra. So let's take our time here and think. Look at those pinks. They are almost good to go. So we get them at the right. Now they're all on the right. And now we have three girls that we can drop down and then we can do whatever. And the pig must go. So your friend gets to go soon after you as well. And now we can focus on the browns because we need to have a uh, clear here. Oh, but we are in trouble at the very tip of the top, so we must clear here, but we do it in order. So that's three. And now we do three clears of just what have you. So that we can smack this three times and this four times. Uh, one extra move would be required. So do that, 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 and these two. And then we can work here for the rest of these two. And we have a first elimination. Having one less color on the board makes everything significantly easier. And already I'm seeing good browns here. But we have to save. And we can get the browns into shape with this play. See, saved it. That's gonna help us move everything to the left in a neat, orderly fashion. That's gonna give us lots of heads to work with. But I'm, I'm gonna need three moves there and the heads are not gonna be done this turn because I need to do that. Now I have to clear the yellow so I get two extra moves. Now if I touch you, then I have to touch you and you and you, yeah. and that's in shape. Now drop as many pinks as I can and drop as many pigs as I can. And maybe leave a single gap for this color and now start working on the clears. Yeah, this game is take, taking more thought than I, you know, I, I thought possible in the beginning. I thought it was pretty simple. And it's getting uh, more thinky, <laughs> that's not a word, but it's getting more mentally demanding as I go, go along and play it, that's for sure. Yeah, and the girls are in shape with one egg. Oh, there's one egg on my queue. I queued up a girl, did I? So that's bad. Now the grab is still already there. So the board was in an okay state. Uh, putting the girl there in the queue was was a mistake. I, saw, I didn't see the girl. I was lost in thought there for a second. Continue. Stage 15. Mm -hmm. Clear the pinks because it's gonna help on the blues. The browns are not in shape yet, but we can definitely work on the browns. And now we can drop that and get the bigs, because I have to get the bigs. Now they're on the right, that's fine. The girls are not gapless, but I can drop three letters to move the girls. And then I can drop a yellow because it doesn't matter too much. And now I can drop blues and hit some girls in order. That way they won't be a problem later, but it's gonna be a problem immediately. Oh yeah, one head left there at the top. Ah, uh, Yeah, um, I'm trying to think and play fast at the same time and it's not going great. So uh, one more, one more. Yeah, I keep saying one more. I'm gonna keep feeding credits, aren't I? Exactly like the arcade, arcade developers intended me to. Get you hooked on the game and get you feeding credits into the machine. That's fine though, this is a fun game. Definitely an underappreciated arcade game. That is for sure. Mm 
Work those scholars. We need to pick on the left. This is gonna need a lot of saving. Put the symbols on the right. Start working on the uh, piggy here. Since piggies are good to go. Aren't they? Yes, they are. The laser pig is done. And that good play gave me the pink. Leaving the girls in an awesome position. Letting me put effort into brown. Yep, works. Yeah, good. Leaving the uh, browns in an okay position. I mean, if I'm gonna touch heads, I'm gonna do it like this. And now all I need to do is ship ahead and drop the brown. And the browns are gonna be okay. I touched the blue, so I'm gonna drop blues. I'm, I'm gonna drop yellows. Yellows have a gap, not a problem. Yellows don't have a gap, uh, I can shove them here. Am I doing it? It feels like I'm doing it. I am doing it. Look at that. Yeah, okay. That feels awesome. I mean, surely the monsters are small when I feed credits. But then again, there's a lot of time left here in this 8 wide. Man, the 6 wides are gonna feel so easy after this. Yeah, that's some quality hydration there. Uh, what are you? Okay. Mm, reds, absolutely reds. Look at that. So. Such an easy color. But let's not make a mess out of the board while we are at it, right? Let's keep doing things in order. Otherwise, we are in trouble and we might be here already. But we are making some solid effort on the board. Yeah, but that's not gonna be enough, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. Almost had the reds. Um, did it reach final? I didn't have enough moves there, and then if I had hit the block earlier, the reds would have been too, much, too far on the right. Okay. And you can dance. I need to check out who's the develop developer for this game. They did a good game. Is it the same board? Oh, are the boards the same? So is it actually possible to just, you know, read the boards out in your own damn time and just have an easy time at it? Is this a game? Is that the game? If that's the case, it's gonna get much easier from now. Let me tell you. Now I need to take four moves here. But what's that giving me? I mean, I still need to do four moves. I cannot eliminate from the top row. That's what it gives me. I cannot eliminate from the top row. Look at that. It's not even possible. I mean, I can save from the top row. No problem. But actual eliminations at the top are a no-go. You see that? Not gonna work. Whatever I do here at the top, I cannot eliminate from the top. Did we just learn something about the game? I think we did. I think we bloody did. So now those are gonna be done in two turns, but then everything is super high here. Yeah, this is not gonna be the uh, 
round we win, that's for sure. Uh, but we are learning something. We don't want to plan our eliminations at the very top of the stack. This stage is wide, but it's not super super far. I don't feel it. I mean, look at. Already clearing colors. Oh, that's not a thing to do, is it? So don't do that. Oh, let's retry. Let me whack this away. Yeah, let me just whack here and we'll try again. More reset button. Mm hmm. Oh, I feel I can do this now. I feel I can do this. No, it's serious time. Let's go. Heads are hard. Reds are okay. I can drop some greens to work on the reds and drop some purples. But if the reds are at the tip, tip it up, I don't get to work on them, remember? Ooh, 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 ooh. Browns might be the option to go for in that case. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be four moves of saving my bacon, make it six so it's more manageable. But then that's gonna leave me with a move to drop that. And a stacking move. And that's gonna be three to save. And the browns are climbing by a step every time I don't get them. And I didn't get them. And now the browns are ready to eliminate, but it's gonna take another turn of saving. Mm -hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. See that the pigs will need to go. Yeah, it's gonna be purple saving time. And then I can drop these guys down. And now if I save on the purple, it's gonna be on the far right, that's okay. And the fish monsters are gonna be the easy clear here. Now I should work on a single color, so let's make it red. And do the fish monsters, that's gonna be close to saving at the top. Oh, the fish monsters aren't done! Can you see them not being done? Because I sure couldn't see them. Oh man! I mean, I can keep doing this. If I had more time, I would be sure to get it. But the fish monster is gonna need a whack. And then it's gonna need three whacks here. And the bears are in order. And then I can save on the heads. And the fish monsters should be good. And now everything else is getting into shape as well. There we go. And now you are gonna be two walks away from being okay. Aren't you? And then I can just touch purples until it's all good. No, that needs to go. Letters are done. are done. The crab is way up there though. See that? And it's just two moves for the reds now. And I can do reds for the rest of the money. We almost had it. See that? We almost had it. We 
Mojito. We didn't get it, but we almost had it. You see that? The board was in a good state. Okay, being fast at the beginning is not going to be a problem. Uh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Sounds like a Borat when I say that. Yeah. Such a move it's done that. Okay, greens first, browns next. Start working and don't think too hard on it. Start saving up top. Do the heads. Do a purple in the between if you have to, but then drop the fish. Yeah. Do another head. Purples are okay, and that's gonna give me the red. No, but that, that's gonna be death. They are too high up there. So I cannot focus on the reds in the beginning. Now I was looking at the moves and not looking at the board state properly. But that's because I have to figure out the moves first to be able to execute on them and start a little bit lower is the key. Mm -hmm. So look low here and see what's the color to play. But the greens are definitely easy to shift to the right. And that does give me the browns. And now they are almost gapless. And dropping a red is fine because it stays on the left. And now the reds are to the right but they have company there, same as the fish monsters. Do a few purples, that will give me the uh, red to work with. We cannot eliminate on the red. Because we have to use a 4 move save and that's gonna continue as a 5 move save. And the browns require work and so do the purple. What's not requiring work? Oh, I know what's not. See that? Do ya? The, the color that requires the least work is the brown. It's one work here and a couple works at the top. But I'm at such a high board state, it might not be viable to play like this. Hit monster can go. Oh, it's gonna stand left, right? Mm-hmm. And if I just randomly work here, I'm gonna have to save three moves for my saving attempt. Like that. And now I don't have to save on this elimination turn. But while things aren't super easy, they are pretty hard, right? So if I smack the pigs first, line them up, I'm gonna have to save two moves. So let's touch this bear and this bear, and then do up purple. Drop these into shape, that'll drop these guys into shape, and do purples for the rest. See the purples are done. Almost miss, miss hit there. Bears are super easy. Why did I hit the big? I wanted to hit the bear. Not a problem. Got the best. And the fish monsters are good to go. Almost. Not quite there, but they are almost done. See this? Gives us a lot of currency to work with. No, yeah, there's one gap here, isn't there? So now I just have to work something to do my clears.
Yeah, the crap got up there. Have the stage. Yeah, almost had the stage. So close. After this eight watt, the six watt is gonna be super easy. This is gonna make this practice is gonna make the one CC much easier. Or well, not one CC, but like one CC the stage then at least my target. So, what if I do a couple purple wax, then do the browse, and then do the greens? How's that gonna work? And then maybe two bigs. I didn't have two bigs. Ooh, not great. So it's not a good position to be in. Fish monsters can go on the right, and then the bigs can be in the middle. Then if I touch two reds and a bear, how much that give me? A save. Do I have enough moves to clear here? I might not be able to clear him. Yeah, not even close. See? I'm one move short and the stack is bad after that play. Yeah, okay, let's give up on this try. Didn't do great. Have to do a different shot in the beginning. I'm gonna have to start thinking of my queue at the bottom as a uh, right, mid, and left queue. Um, I'm still thinking of like, only in terms of the, what's gonna be on the left, but I'm, I'm gonna need to start considering my queue probably. So, uh, heads can go on the right. Browns can go in the middle. Um, green should be on the left. Do the purples to the right. Put the fish monsters next if I'm able to. And then start working on the reds. Good. Now clear the three fish monsters. Clear a bear, it's gonna be next to its friends, and then work on the red. Brown and a brown. Now it's gonna be three wax to save here. The red is almost in position. That's good. Reds are done. I want the greens to move, so I put the bigs on the left with the brown, okay? Because that's gonna give me the uh, red clear, followed up by the green clear. And that's gonna shift all of this that's down below to the left quite a bit. Making things easier. Bigs, you have to move. Move big. Okay, move brown. Letters need to be cleared from the top. What's easy? The pigs might be okay. No, it's not. It's browns, isn't it? Yeah, the browns might be okay, actually. If I drop the head to the end of the queue, I can now work on three browns. On this, it's gonna be a step to clear them. That's fine, drop the bears again. Yeah, I have to be thinking in terms of doing rapid eliminations as well. No shame in doing an elimination here. So if I see an elimination, I should also go for it. 
sort of a hybrid playstyle. Can't just be thinking of a single factor of the game. I have to take more of the board into consideration. But I'm building a tool set in my mind to be able to do it. No, I've, I've made mistakes here. Because nothing is ready to go. See that? Only the bears are almost ready. That would have given me the pigs next. The crab is at the top though. Yeah, the pigs were ready by the way. I thought they were. Mm -hmm. Not too many colors left. Feeling better. Feeling better at the game. I'm feeling like I am better at the game. Let's put it that way. Continue. Let's see how long is it gonna take me to clear this game. Greens or Let's me work on the browns easy. Let's me drop a head here. And if I drop two heads, I can touch two fish and two red. Followed up by two of what? Pigs. Because that's gonna give me tools to eliminate pigs with. Well, the pigs aren't ready to go, not for a while. So a save is in order. It can be a uh, red save here. And then work on the bears. Wish I had something ready. I mean, I've been building, I've been building. But it's taking a while. See that? It's not terrible. Oh, I'm one whack short, aren't I? Damn. One, two, I need three sh swings to the top. Yeah, but that's gonna leave me in a bad position. Not gonna be able to do the clear. Not gonna be able to clear. I mean, I have the peaks on a uh, one here. And next is fish monster time. But the fish monsters, although cooperative, leave me with the purple problem here. So that's not super good, uh, but I get an elimination and the board is in a much cleaner state now. So I mean I can do fish monsters for the first half. And then three moves to save four blocks, how's that for good play? But this is me aligning the board, so that I'm gonna start queuing up eliminations. That's the idea. The execution just isn't all there yet. Okay, starting from the top. That's gonna be three colors on the right. Then cleaning out the greens here is gonna clear gaps. And then I shouldn't put the purples on the uh, far left. I should put them to the right like this. And now I can do four fish and start on the red because I need to save on the red and it's gonna take me a couple moves here can I do three bears in a row I cannot have a fish there on a purple and a bear to the far right and see what I have what I have is an easy-ish green. 
But I need a one more move. I need one more move to save. So I'm gonna spend an inordinate amount of time saving here. And set up whatever mess I can on the bottom. But that's gonna be the first enemy. And I'm gonna need a clip save. So I'm gonna take the save with the uh, heads there at the top. Followed up by the uh, two heads. And that red. Okay, what do I have? Almost nothing. I mean, I am smacking and I'm working. Yeah, I know. It's just taking so long to get this done. Look at the mess I That's an elimination, but they are few and far between. If the reds were in a better state, I would do the reds, but they are not in a good position, so I cannot. Now the letters are the one I'm looking after, but I have to do clears here in order to save myself, and then work on the letters. And now the letters are almost done, and I can do a letter save there and come down. Now how many moves is that? That's gonna be a single move. So I can do that, that, and this. And now get the letters out of the way. Finally. Now doing the reds next. Oh, well, I don't know I have to talk. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not great. Pigs are almost done. Fish monster, you've got to go. But the pigs are not ready yet, so fish monsters are gonna be left with a gap. Touch reds next. Reds are not gonna be ready because they're gonna be at the top. Look at that. And that would have given me the red. But the crap got me first. Stage 16. These stages are taking longer and longer. Start with the greens. Put the browns in the middle. And what's gonna be the first color to eliminate? A red, isn't it? But the head is gonna be the one to go. So I can do the heads to the right and then do some fish monsters and start dropping these purples so that I can whack these four reds to keep saving fish monsters followed up by the bears so that I won't die you got to go sorry and then I can move these purples and then what's gonna have to stay on the left? The big. Okay. Head first, then the two reds, then the gr three greens. And a save, right? And a save. Now, knocking these into place is gonna be viable. But I have to save first. So that would be an elimination. But... I have to do this. And that's gonna leave me in a trouble. Troublesome spot. Again, I tried to do something at the very top of the stack and that's... That's not gonna be a good move. Uh, let's try again. Whack whack. Whack 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 whack. Man. Struggling. Okay. Hydrate. 
Okay. Purples are on the far right, so purples get to stay on the far right. Uh, reds are in the middle, so they get to go there. Then the heads get to be on the semi left. Followed up by a color that I don't have yet, so brown. Fishes need to move, so the fishes move. They get to be on the far right. Uh, Biggies ideally on the middle, and then browns on the left, give those on the left. Save by doing two reds followed up by fish, that'll be wherever. Two bears, and do the three green. How's that? Then I can do this, 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 and a save here. Mm hmm hesitated a bit, wanted to read out the sequence. Nothing's clearing out yet. Can okay, triple purple here, triple brown. Get the elimination. This stage with this many blocks is taking a long time to set up a first elimination. Heads are bad, picks are super easy, but I have to drop one. Uh, so I can maybe work here. These blocks have to move, I've got no alternative to it. No, I dropped the head. Why did I drop the head? I should not have dropped the head. No, maybe I should have. Because all the other colors are even in a, an even worse position. I mean, look at that. Even the... It's a mess. It's a mess. I'm making a mess out of it. And leaving that's a strat to leave a block to the le far left, but it's taking a long time to do it. Many moves, and I'm just a couple moves short. If, if I do the strat here, look at that. That's a save, and now I can drop some bigs while I'm at it. So that top move strat there is a new thing I learned. Way to keep the block on the left by dropping it down one spot. Pigs, maybe? Because the pigs are almost done. Yeah, the crap got me. Oh man. I'm making the board work for me, but it is taking too long. But if the stage is up reset, then you can speedrun this game by building a pattern and practicing a pattern beforehand. How about we start with the bubbles this time? Then continue off with the rest. Or the heads, and then the reds. Now we have three, uh, two fish to work with. Four fish down. Do a red here to keep the reds in shape. That shifts blocks. Bears will go to the far right. And then we can do two purple and fish. And do we have, are we near a setup here? We aren't. Pigs have to be on the, uh, on a some position. Let's drop the greens now. Let's continue with the browns. That improved our odds. But that didn't. And I mean, even if I do random drops here to 
keep that in place, I don't have enough moves to shift these to eliminate. But maybe I can do the same thing at the top there with these moves. Yeah, I can. That's an important move to learn. getting better. We even have an elimination queued up. Yeah, but I'm dead. You know what, I'm gonna try this one more time and then we're gonna change games. One more try for this stage. Stage 16, my nemesis. Let's try working at the bottom here. No, no, well, let's, let's drop the bigs and then do the browns. Now some greens so that we don't have gaps here. Now we have gapless green at the bottom. And even if I do this and this, I need to do moves at the top here, quite a few moves. No, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm focusing on the green. Okay, I said one more, but that was a bad try. Okay, this is the last one. This is the last one. Uh, well, I got so lost in the moves again. Happens. Uh, the game makes me think. And it's making me think I get lost in the moves and then I make silly mistakes like that. But also, uh, losing at this stage over and over, it's getting kind of tiresome. Okay, but that was good play. It was solid play. Browns are not gapless, but we can make them gapless. Now they are. Heads need to go. And the fish monsters need to save us. Reds can be on the left. And there's gonna be one here, so maybe, maybe the fish monster. If I do pigs first, then letters. The browns are shifting all the while. So now I have the browns in shape. But I'm making a mess of my queue. I mean, getting to the first elimination fast is gonna help me with the uh, crap time, that's for sure. And it's not all bad here yet. See that? The greens are almost done. And I have turns to work with. So I can do the greens. And not make a mess off the board while I'm at it, so that's good. Pigs aren't ready to go, but they will be soon, so I can drop these letter blocks. And once the pig goes out, the letter block is gonna be fine. The letter block is not done yet, so I can work on a couple of fish monsters. Then drop a few heads. And now smack purples for the rest of the turn. Are the old pigs in order? They better be, because I'm whacking them. didn't leave me with an elimination so I'm gonna have to do something here what needs to be on the left that's I, mean, I wanted to do that instead missed 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 is that gonna be too many moves for the reds or is it gonna be just right a lot of moves uh, one move short not a prop though Mm 
Okay, that was kind of a whatever move. Not well thought out, not well planned for sure. Grab is too fast. Okay, that's gonna be. We're gonna call it for the uh, Dama Dojo. That's gonna be the last player point. We made 16 stages, almost to the 17th one. Maybe we'll try it on stream some other day, but for now we're gonna call it a game. Hope you enjoyed Dama Dojo. Uh, maybe this is an interesting puzzle game for you to try out as well. If you wanna try it for yourself, then definitely check out Fight Gate 2. If you're lucky, you might find other people to play with. If you want to play with me, yeah, sure. I'm up for most of these fun kid games. That's just my Twitter handle there. At big underscore OP underscore up. The game is developed by Metro Entertainment or Metro. So, Dama Dojo. <laughs>